Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle the radio button. These are all the important methods to handle the radio button. First one is displayed or not and second one is enabled or not. Then comes is selected or not just to verify the selection criteria. And the fourth one is to select which can be done with the help of dot click operation. When you compare this with the checkbox, usually in checkbox we have check and uncheck but in radio button there is no functionality called uncheck the radio button. Only thing you can change between two values. This is a sample end-to-end -end test case created to implement all these four methods. We will be implementing all the four methods in female radio button let's go to the application so inspect as i already said we have to inspect the nearby object or web element also to know the difference if you see here this is for male and this is for female the id is different the class is same type even name all the values are same so we will be selecting the id for the locator id the value we are just copying it paste it to a notepad now we'll start coding we already know how to set up the firefox web driver path then launch the application now the next step is declaring the object using web element interface web element give a meaningful object name it's a female radio button after this driver dot find element by dot id double quotes paste the value semicolon declaration completed the next step is we have to verify whether this female radio button is displayed or not if condition female radio button dot is displayed female radio button is displayed else condition female radio button is not displayed the next step is whether the female radio button is enabled or not so if condition variable name dot is enabled output message female radio button is enabled else female radio button is not enabled the next step we have to verify whether the female radio button is selected or not if object or variable dot is selected female radio button is selected else condition female radio button is not selected first we will execute this scenario firefox browser is launched and navigating to the url execution is completed and you can see here female radio button is displayed enabled and it is not selected as per the requirement we completed first four step now fifth step is we have to select the female radio button after that verify once again whether it is selected or not to select the radio button what we have to do the object dot click this will select the radio button we know the default status the female radio button is not selected if it is not selected then our condition is to select so i am just inserting the statement inside the else condition so if it is not selected now it will select either you can give it outside or you can give like this there is no thumb rule based on your own application requirement you can decide this after selecting the radio button verifying whether the radio button is selected or not this time it should say it's selected let's run application launched it is selected execution completed as per our requirement displayed enabled not selected then you are selecting the value after that you are checking the status and we are getting is selected once again i am saying if you are still confused whether to give dot click in the if or else condition better you can give it outside there is no issue 
I just taught you this trick since we follow this type of coding technique in automation project. So even you can give directly this line or inside the if or else condition based on your default value. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.